If you've seen the why are you gay video, why are you gay? then you'd know that being gay can be such a big deal and some actors play gay roles so well that we honestly suspect they're gay in real life. But it's not always the case as there are some gay actors who play very straight roles. So in this video, we will look at actors you probably wouldn't have known were gay in real life. Some played gay characters but some played straight roles as well. Watch till the end as we have some new people on the list. And do tell us some actors you think were left out that people probably wouldn't have guessed are gay or lesbian. But first, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this. Thank you for tuning in. Number 1. Lethlaw Nolomuloi Lethlaw Nolomuloi is a South African actress, model and influencer best known for playing the role of Waruna on Nikiwe. Most people who see her on Nikiwe think that the actress is straight because she looks nothing like what people stereotypically imagine as lesbian but turns out she's anything but straight. On Nikiwe, Lethlaw Nolomuloi plays the role of Waruna, the daughter of Skitla. She's smart, beautiful and straight talking. See what I did there? While the definition of queer is as sketchy as sketchy can get, the actress is a self-acclaimed queer lesbian, meaning she's attracted to other women and is a lesbian. Queer being I don't know what queer means, even Google couldn't help me understand that one. And on her account, she often shares reels and videos around her attractions to other women, with some videos where she claims that people's girlfriends are hitting on her. She has denied having any attractions towards men, even though men still try their chance regardless. Number 3. Latoya Makine Latoya Makine could have fooled you if you saw her acting. She has played numerous roles on our TV screens including Ayanda Diale on AC Dingo, CD on Generations The Legacy and more recently The Vogue Editor on House of Zwede. So um, what's the big deal with Makine? Well, the actor struggled with coming out as many told her that would ruin her career, but she got support and came out. And honestly, I wonder how coming out could have ruined her career in this modern era. Anyways, the actress was once married to Lebo Pulumo, but like most relationships in Zanzi, it ended in tears. And I mean real tears, because Latoya Makina who played the role of Pumi on Homewrecker literally wrecked her own home by cheating on her wife Lebo Keswa. In return, Keswa forgave her only to do one on her, even threatening to cut off Makina's dreadlocks. Looks like men aren't the only dogs in relationships, cause even women alone are not winning. Clearly Mjolo has no favorites. Number 3. Sibule Lentlebi Sibule Lentlebi is a South African actress best known for playing Nolita on Isita the Enemy on ETV. Apart from acting, she's also a social worker in real life. Like Moloi, most would swear that she's straight, but it turns out she has a bit of gay or lesbian in her. Sibulele reveals herself to be bisexual, meaning she is sexually attracted to both sexes. So, while she's not exclusively gay like a lesbian, she has some gayness in there, you know? So if you're dating her, there is no safety with either male or female friends. Anything goes. Number 4. Albert Ibogwe Koza Albert Ibogwe Koza is a South African actor best known for playing Nuka on Smoke and Mirrors and Mother Mini from Blood Sounds. While most know him as that elusive Sangom on Smoke and Mirrors, few know that he's also gay. We don't know when he came out as gay but in a video he made 7 years ago he talked about coming out of the closet and how the life of a gay man is different in Africa compared to the western world and as a result the actors traveled the world enlightening them of his struggles not only as a Sangma but also as a gay man in South Africa or in an African society. Number 5. Niza J for those of you who watch South African films, you've probably seen Ingeba the Wound and on that we can see Nisa J playing the role of Kwanda, a role he received international acclaim for to the point that he was even fortunate enough to move to Los Angeles in the United States of America. Unlike some South African actors who are straight and play gay roles, Jay is actually gay in real life. See what I did there? and was the youngest openly gay actor from South Africa to win a SAFTA. He is also a director in real life and is a company dealing with film productions. If you still don't recognize the guy, maybe you remember him from Blood Sounds and he's also on Prime Video's You're My Favorite Place. Number 6. Cell Beyonce 
Selbion's Mkizi is a South African actor most people know from Imbeu as Mlungisi. And I know we said people you didn't know were gay. Well, Mkizi once said she was gay and a lot of articles referred to her as such until much later when she changed her gender and said, nah, I'm a woman. And said that she was initially confused about what she was but now knows she's a woman. As a result, she changed her gender through a transitional surgery to become a woman. So, no, she's not gay but she once was till recently now to the next one and this one will also be confusing number seven anati gobini like so beyonce anati gobini currently identifies as gay although he does look like a woman a complete woman so we don't know anyways as long as he says he's gay we stand by that anati is best known for playing lindo on imbe with the seed and now Anati on smoke and mirrors. He came out of the closet a bit later than most but his family learned to accept him as well as those around him. However, initially he didn't really understand what he was feeling but later got to understand that he was just gay and got to embrace that. Anati is a feminine gay man and so some may literally assume he's a woman and he could also someday become a full woman by transitioning but so far he's gay. Number 8. Msamut Kabashi. Msamut Kabashi is a South African actor and singer, best known for playing Jamaica on Rhythm City and Romeo on the Black Door. Mzamo was also on Big Brother Mzanzi where he gained a lot of notoriety. But like we said, just because an actor plays gay roles doesn't mean they're gay in real life as they're actors who play gay roles but aren't gay and we'll make a video on some of those. Mzamo was one of those actors people were wondering if he was gay in real life or not and it turns out that he actually is. We don't know when he came out of the closet but at some point he did and embraced his sexuality. Number 9. Nagani Masaka Saka. Nagani is one of those gay actors who play a gay role and you just go, this one is definitely gay in real life and it turns out to be. So with Nagani it's gonna get more confusing. The actor prefers the pronoun of they and them so we will refer to them that way. Nagani played the role of Tolani in Ingaiba, The Wound and Tandi in Two Eyes. Nagani also played the role of Jairo in Anthem Homunculus. Homo Okay, so what's his gay story? Well, Nagani's story is a bit complicated because at first the actor actually came out by accident to their family after an ex-girlfriend exposed the actor. She told the family that Nakani was gay and the family didn't take it well at all, forcing Nakani to visit a traditional healer to renounce that homosexuality and Nakani even attended church and tried to contain it. But it was difficult as Nakani would end up at gay clubs and strip clubs. But leading Nakani to the difficult choice of denouncing God and following what he felt was true to him, being gay. Okay, that was difficult considering I had to avoid using the they and them pronoun so that you guys wouldn't be confused about how many people I was talking about. Number 10, Linda Majola. Alright, lastly, Linda Majola. Okay, at least this guy doesn't use the they and them pronouns cause referring to one person as them or they can be a bit confusing at times. Back on topic, who is Linda Majola? Well, most probably know Linda from the wife where he played the role of Langa and on Uzalo as Mzam. Because of his the wife role, most wondered if he was also gay in real life and the truth was, he was. Well, sort of. He specifically falls into the Q part of the LGBTQIA plus part of the acronym. Q standing for queer, which is honestly impossible to define as either gay or not gay, but definitely not straight. So to make things easy, we'll say he's gay, alright? But if you know an easy way to define queer, do tell us in the comments, otherwise the word only means odd or different, so he's definitely not straight, but we don't really know what he is. Queer, I guess, and that'll be all for today. Thank you for watching. You may also check out these videos above and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this.